Hi, this is CB, and this time I'm going to talk just a little bit about blend modes and using them to help get our pictures looking a little bit better. If you're like me and you shoot things and they're not necessarily as perfect looking as you would like, so you can use blend modes to help get the photos looking a little bit closer to not perfection, but certainly not in my case, but looking much better for scrapbooking purposes because we'd like our pictures to look as nice as we can get them to before putting them in, in the album, I'm sure. So I have two examples here. I've got one photo here. This was underexposed uh, a bit, and it's just too dark. Now I can use Lighten, I mean not Lighten, but the Levels tool, certainly, and that's probably what I would do, but sometimes when I'm in a hurry and I've got a picture that's just overall dark, I just check through the blend modes here and see what would work well. And the blend mode, of course, I've just got the picture open right now and it's not you're not able to use blend mode because there's nothing to blend it with. So the first thing to do is copy this layer off so that I have something to blend with this layer. So I'm going to hold control and then the J key and that would be command and J on the Mac. And now you see up here the blend mode is active. And of course by default it's at normal, which it should be. But in order to lighten this layer, there's uh three excuse me, four uh, blend modes here that work to lighten a photo. Lighten, screen, color dodge, and linear dodge. The one that just does the overall lighten is not actually lighten, but screen. So when I hit that, you'll see instantly the whole thing is going to get brighter and look much, much nicer. And you can even do this, you know, as many times as you need to. If I just hit Control and J again, it copied it and left it in screen mode. So you can see that that looks nice. Now I would probably recommend getting a histogram out and looking to make sure you're not blowing anything out but um, we're just doing a real quick fix here and that looks so much better and as you can tell it was really easy to do. So let's look at a picture that's now too light already here and I hate to say this but these are much much trickier to fix than too dark. When you have a photo that's too dark even if it's really really dark there's usually information in the picture there that you can use and by the way, if you start lightening up a photo that's really dark, one of the things you're going to notice, and let me go back to that other photo here for a minute, is that there's noise. Let me zoom in. You just see here it's kind of noisy. There's little specks and, and spots. And certainly this is not the best example to talk about with noise because this photo's not too bad. But if it was really, really dark and then you start to lighten up, you'll see noise. That's when I would recommend trying to find, there's several products out there, something called Noiseware. It's noise reduction software. I use um, Neat Image, but there's things like Noise Ninja and whatever. Those things are great for helping with that particular situation. So back with to our photo that's too light now. And as I said, I'd rather have a photo, I think, almost it's a little too dark than one that's a little too light, because in this case, there is no information really here to rescue. We can make it look a little bit better, which is, of course, the goal, but it's not going to be perfect. So again, let's copy off this layer and change this blend mode this time. We're going to work with these four from dark and multiply color burn and linear burn and just like screen was the second one we used down here to lighten the photo totally. Multiply is the one that will work here to totally darken the photo. Now this really isn't acceptable. Let me move my layers palette off the screen here. Because of course yes it did darken the background up nicely but now my son's face is pretty dark and nasty. So what you can see I did here on my example earlier is I added a layers mask. And let me turn this back off and put this back on here. And you can see I brought his face back into light, but the difference in between before and after now is we have a little bit more definition in the background. Some red in there that I don't particularly like. But as I said, it looks better. See here's before, really blown out. And now here's after where his face has still got the light on it thanks to the mask, but at least the background isn't quite so washed out and, and pale and, and everything. So it looks better. So I would probably, since I have lost this information with it being washed out and there's really no way to rescue it, at this point I could probably use this to scrap with. So I'm CB and that's a couple of quick ways to work with your photos and help them look a little bit better. Thanks for watching.